Hello there, my name's Chris, Sales Manager for Sound and Vision in Bolton. I want to take you through a complete new product range today from Sony. The model numbers we're going to be looking at are the KDL32 EX503, the KDL37 EX503, the KDL40 EX503, the KDL46 EX503, and the KDL55 EX503. So we've got five screen sizes there, 32, 37, 40, 46 and 55 inch. The specification on all five models is identical apart from one thing which is the power consumption. Obviously that varies depending on the size of the actual product itself. If you take for instance the 32 inch, they have an extremely low power consumption. The 32 inch has a power consumption of 66 watts only, extremely low. And even when you go up through the range to the 37 and the 40 inch, you're only looking at 92 watts and 106 watts as well. So extremely low power consumption. The specification, as I said, is exactly the same on all um, five models. I'll take you through, first of all, the sockets on the rear of the TV. We have two SCART sockets, two HDMI, one PC input, one component input, which is the red, green, blue socket, one optical out, one analog audio out, and one ethernet connection. Those are the sockets on the rear of the TV. On the side of the TV, there's one USB socket, and there's another two HDMI sockets on the side, making four in total, one composite input, which is the yellow, red, and white input, and there's also one headphone socket. The composite socket on the side of the TV is a standard video information socket, but things like Wii games consoles can plug into that, which is the yellow, red, and white socket. The actual specification on the five models is extremely high. We're looking at a TV here uh, which is full HD, so they'll cut with all three major formats of high definition, 720p, 1080i, and 1080p resolution. So if you want to plug a Sky HD box into this, you can do so. Sky broadcast at 1080i, it will cut with that with no problem at all. But if you want to connect, um, say, a PS3 or a Blu-ray DVD, yet again, you can do so. A lot of the games and the movies are in a 1080p format, but will also cope with that resolution as well. You've got a set here which also has an extremely high contrast ratio, so you're getting a good black level, so you get good depth of field and good detail on dark scenes. There are also HD um, tuners built into the TVs, so if you live in an area where they're broadcasting um, HD transmissions through uh, standard DVB, standard digital signals, this TV will actually pick them up. So we've got our normal channels on here, uh, which are BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, the standard sort of digital channels, which is just sort of flicking through there, Channel Four, Channel Five, and then you'll start going through all the digital channels as well. But as I said, this TV at the moment is just plugged into a standard TV aerial. If we uh, go further up the scale on here, we have BBC HD on the TV, that's on channel 50. So it's now coming on, we've got BBC high definition signals, that's just coming through the standard TV aerial, not through any satellite or cable source. If we click another one up from there, we've also then got ITV HD. This is just from the TV aerial. Now not all regions are broadcasting high definition through your TV aerial at the moment. The northwest of the UK, um, there's uh, TV broadcasting high definition and there's some parts of the south around the London area also. But more and more areas will be switching over to HD through your standard TV aerial, but this is already equipped for it. However, you have got the HDMI sockets on the back, so if you want to connect Sky HD to it or Virgin uh, Media Box for HD, you can do so as well, or, uh, or FreeSat boxes these days as well. Uh, you've also got um, internet uh, capabilities through this TV. Um, it is basically Wi-Fi ready, so if you want to explore sort of online services, you can do so. You can get catch-up TV um, via the internet through, uh, through this TV. You can download photographs from your PC. Um, the specification I said is very high um, spec on all five models. If we go into the menu, this is the remote control uh, for the TV. The remote control has all the buttons uh, on the front. It also has uh, an on-off button, standby button on the back, as well as at the front as well. Um, the um, batteries on this it might say, sound uh, a quite basic, simple thing, but we've already had people struggling to get batteries in the remote control. Um, there's not got, it's not got the usual sort of battery compartments on the back. Literally, you get all the remote control, you press it at the bottom and at the top, you push down and it slides to open up. The batteries go in there, just slides back 
to conceal the batteries. Now then, if we press the home button on here, we get the actual menu on screen. You've got up, down, right and left on the keypad. If we click over to the left, it takes us through all the different options on screen. Um, if we got into the display settings and then into picture mode, it will take us through then all the adjustments that we can make to the picture. So we have got, first of all, preset modes in from the manufacturer, standard, custom, vivid, and that takes you through sort of just some preset settings where the contrast, brightness, colour sharpness is predetermined by the manufacturer. But you can go into that and alter those settings. You can alter uh, the contrast, brightness, colour, and if we go down there, um, the colour temperature and the sharpness and everything else to however you want it. There's a lot of settings uh, and adjustments you can make um, to this uh, picture. If we go into advanced settings, for instance, we can get into um, uh, additional um, black levels to increase that contrast level even more. Um, we've also got, if we go further down there, things like white balance adjustments, where we can get into each individual primary colour, the red, the green and the blue, and make adjustments to those as well. So there's a lot of tweaks you can make to the image on this, um, to uh, get that display and that picture exactly the way that you want it. But if you get completely confused on that, there is also a default um, to manufacturer's settings, so don't be worried about completely messing up the image. You can also go back to default and it will set it back up to as it came out of the box. If we go into the sound menu, uh, we go back to the menu settings. And we will find it on here in just a second. Down to the audio settings. We've got adjustments for things like clear voice. You put it on clear voice, the vocals will come out better for you and it will cut down the sort of background noise. Uh, you've also got dynamic, which increases the bass and standard, um, where then you can go into those settings and adjust the treble and the bass to where you want it. And you've also got surround sound off or um, surround sound, where it'll throw the sound out and around you as well. Um, so plenty of settings on there for the sound and picture. The TV itself, as uh, I said, is full HD. Uh, it's got a good contrast level. Um, it's also 100 hertz scanning. Uh, now with 100 hertz, standard TVs scan at 50 hertz, meaning that there's 50 pictures a second making up the image. This TV is 100 hertz. It's at 100 images per second making up that picture to control fast movement better. There's a lot of spec to go through on this TV. Uh, what I would say is that um, if we just flick through uh, the adjustments on here, I'm just going to the PC menu, we've got basically a PC socket on the back of this TV as well, so you can plug your uh, PC or laptop directly into it. But I said you can link it up uh, Wi-Fi as well. You've got Ethernet connections, so it's got wireless um, uh, capabilities built into the TV. Uh, if you go to our website, which is uh, soundivision.co.uk, you'll find more details on this range on there. Um, or give us a call at the shop. My name's Chris. You can phone us on 01204 861 861. We've got offers that uh, we can do sort of over the phone for you um, on this range of TVs. We've got 0% interest-free credit on anything over £400, which we can do uh, for up to 12 months for you. But please give us a call um, on 01204 861 861 um, or go to our website soundinvision.co.uk or just click the link at the side of this screen for more details. Thank you.